I'm Chris Fox, and this is The Bourbonite. Pappy Van Winkle is the famed bourbon of rarity, I guess you'd call it. Um, it's uh, got a small batch release every single year that the uh, Buffalo Trace Distillery puts out, and apparently the bourbon is fantastic, so it's highly sought after, and because it's so rare, it becomes incredibly valuable on the gray market, or black market, or whatever. People buy it, and then they try to resell it to other people who want it for way more money. Gray market, whatever. Peppy is uh, so collectible that it can be purchased for a fairly modest price from a retailer, and then it's often resold on the black market, or the, again, the gray market, for anywhere from two grand to three grand to even $10,000. Uh, some people would call this obnoxiously ridiculous, and some would be like, it's absolutely worth it. Regardless of your appeal there, this uh, leaves things open to counterfeiters. Uh, one particular counterfeiter was uh, just prosecuted, and I believe it was the first time someone's ever been prosecuted for selling fake whiskey. This guy was trying to sell um, a counterfeit version of the, the Pappy uh, bourbon and uh, managed to dupe a, a lot of people. I didn't read too far into it, but it was enough that it got the attention of New York State. And uh, now he's, he's going to, I guess, pay the price. So what this really leads me to is... Well, there's been some research done, and there's actually a scientific way to spot a fake for identifying whether or not the bourbon that's in the bottle is uh, consistent with the labeling and whatnot. Uh, you can use everything from how far, uh, how, how, how filled up the bottle is, to uh, what color the label is, to the handwriting on the label, all sorts of like little, minute, minuscule details. I mean, really, you should be a museum curator to figure all this crap out. But now, thanks to science, there's a way you can actually determine whether or not that whiskey in the bottle is exactly what the bottle says it is. So get this. There's a team of German scientists. German, of all places. Not Scotland, not Ireland, not even in Kentucky. German scientists have created a synthetic tongue that uh, essentially can calculate the, the chemicals and the compositions that are in, well, anything, but more to our concern, what's in a bottle of whiskey, and then they can tell you exactly what's in that bourbon. This synthetic tongue can actually contrast the difference between two different whiskeys on a molecular level. Now, it isn't really a tongue of sorts. It's not some uh, automata automatic robotic tentacle that can taste your whiskey for you, but rather it's a set of glowing dyes that they put into a whiskey that allows it to, uh, to determine different molecular compositions. Similarly, your tongue does the same thing, where it uses different compounds to determine what happens and, and what's going on within uh, whiskey, within your fajitas, within any sort of uh, edible substance that you might put into your body. Now, the scientists were testing an array of proteins and chemical reactions and uh, just trying to figure out the, the, the real um, circumstance that, that this synthetic tongue may be able to uh, be best utilized. When the head scientist, and he's quoted, saying, Whiskies are an almost ideal test bed for our tongues. You heard it here first. With whiskey and bourbon, the uh, different flavors are, are difficult to distinguish and, and, and pick apart unless you have a um, complicated palate or the access to some sort of chemical analysis. What does this mean for whiskey collectors and whiskey counterfeiters? Well, this synthetic tongue process can actually be used to really determine exactly what is in your bottle, and to that end, it can be much easier and quicker and just more efficient to catch these whiskey counterfeiters like the guy in New York was hawking the fake pappy. So once again, as seems to be the case so often, science saves the day and uh, keeps your whiskey honest. So that's it. If you like what you've seen, 
hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, because there's plenty more whiskey knowledge, uh, adventure, and just kind of you know, a little bit of everything to come. What, you heard it here first? Like a fucking newsmaster. Given the weather, I need a green screen. You got one. There's a cold front rolling in. Drink whiskey? Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. So once again, as seems to be the case more often than not, science saves the day. And keeps your eye totally spilled that. Jesus. <laughs> Blech.